I'm Holly Holden. I'm here with Karen Holden at Fox Hall in our kitchen. And we just shared our recipe for the secret Holden punch. What goes better with the Holden punch than Mummy's Stilton Stuffed Dates? It's a recipe that I have cherished for many years. My mother passed it down to me. Now Karen's making them for your parties. And I thought perhaps you would enjoy knowing about them as well because they only require three simple ingredients. Ingredients you may possibly already have or can easily store in your refrigerator. Stilton cheese, medjool dates, and bacon if you wish. You don't have to have the bacon. And we make them little bite-sized pieces because Mommy always said make them one bite hors d'oeuvres. And that way ladies don't have to fight or struggle with trying to take a second bite. So these are, are small, delicate, yes, petite, absolutely. yet men love the bacon part as well, so do women. And what we do is cut the dates in half. You take the date, cut it in half, get rid of the pit, and then what you'll do is you'll just take a small piece of the Stilton. Which is soft and creamy, easy to spread. And you'll spread it on the date, and then, easy enough, you just wrap the bacon around the date and the Stilton cheese. But just be sure to wrap the bacon pretty tight around the date as it will pop off. Yes. Pop off. You don't even need toothpicks because if you cook it well enough, it browns and the date becomes really, really sweet from the heat and the bacon, bacon. just adheres to it. So again, it's a little bite-sized nugget. And Stilton cheese, I think, is really important because it is such a beautiful, soft cheese. It was actually developed from a town, a little village called Stilton in England in 1730. And only three counties in England are allowed to use the recipe to create Stilton. So well, I'm going to pop these in the oven, and you put them in on about 450 for about 10 minutes. And at the end, I always like to put them under the broiler just to make them extra crispy. Right. We like them really, really brown. Voila! And just like that. There they are. Yum, yum, yum. So I like to use a platter that's actually not a silver platter. It needs some kind of decoration on there because these are really not the most attractive looking hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> they're brown on brown. But, but they're so, so delicious. Trust me, double the amount that you're planning on serving because everyone eats these readily. Thank you for joining us. And I hope you'll try Stilton Stuff Dates with your Holden Punch. You're guaranteed to have an instant party if you do. Enjoy.